The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. I'll begin from Matthew chapter 25. I'll read from verse 14. I'll read in parts up to verse 23. So verse 14, Matthew chapter 25 and from verse 14. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servant and entrusted his worth to, to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, to another one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. But you reckon as I'm pondering them, but Matthew chapter my hand no. It's here you know in no many chichem down and as a basic kakra. But you reckon in fancy no. Now what's the day in part or a dom a cobbia offer an unqua? No day not the hour share one and sa. No more about talent in num or bacoso a bien. No bacoso a cor. Dem bre one in a one to me tea now a quarry. According each according to his ability. And I want you to hold on to that each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five bags more. So also the one who the one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the man who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled account with them. You can read just verse 19. But you American, in Chichem, Dakono, no, na, o na, o chari, chari, no, no, kuano, wan, urano, bay. No, on you one bobu unkonta. The master who had the, the man who had received five bags of gold brought the ad, brought the other five. Na nyia onya talent enum ne bae de talent enum ka ho. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. Mura, e de talent enum shaman sa she me nyia ho talent enum aka ho. His master replied, well done. Good and faithful servant, you have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share in your master's happiness. Verse 22. The man with two bags of bags of gold also came master he said you entrusted me with two bags of gold see i have gained two more the master replied well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful with a few things i will put you in charge of many things come and share your master's happiness. Uh, verse 23. Now I'm not going to dwell on the last one who actually hid his talent. I'm not interested in him this morning. Maybe pay, some other time. But I'm interested in the uh, the two, the first two servants. And the page back on one some pie ye uh kwe bienna with the canis out or today by Sanese Man can one some. So a certain master gave some startups to two of his servants to do business with. 
and scripture says that he gave them according to their abilities see so but for the one who actually hid his talent he the master was okay with 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 with, with them what they they gained in addition he was okay with every one of them uh, so, the ordinary case here, you know apart from the one who hid his talent the other two see the talent was given to them according to their abilities so whatever they gained the master was okay with that how do I know that? Because you, re- you, you, you recognize from the commendations that it, it, they were the same. Well done, good and faithful servant. Both were asked to come and share the master's happiness. When you now were catching on the one brown one, he told both of them that they have been faithful with few things, he will give them much to take charge of. Now, when I became the leader of this church, the first year around this time that people were retiring, uh, we used to score uh, as in efficiency and conduct. And when those certificates were brought to me, uh, some of them I don't even know well. But I'm supposed to give the person either excellent, very good, good or satisfaction. They had to take it back to their area heads for them to score and then bring them to me and then I also look at what you do. But what you come uh as a pay for war area numna was share no was so was a brim view. Even those that I know. Do I know what is in their spirit? So I went to the executive. And then I pleaded with them that let's stop this thing. Let's stop this good, excellent, very good. And because me, I can't do it. And the Mr. Wonder, Pomacho, ye enjoy the Yerka, the E, O ye, a E, O Abom was in the power, O ye, O ye na, ye, 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 for four. Let's give them well done. Now, ye mo, ye na, mo. Then let's ask for well done. I can give everybody well done. And then let's leave the details with the master. Yeah, yeah, but ma. See, one would have thought that in this parable, the one who actually had five and then brought in five should have been set aside for, for real praise. No sending yet a loom can that will run the man. And Kobesha da when you need to chant, no one mona boysen Casapa. But no, the master didn't do that. Now so or run an yan them. Because they all did what they could. No or send the way now what yeah them bread when I wasn't over to why. You see, abilities may differ, but success is for all of us. Yeah, you know, you know wasn't on your pet, now so. Can we all be apostles? Not all are teachers. Now, not all are lawyers. Now, 
Should we all be business people? Not, not all of us should be farmers. Not all of us are cooks. Abilities may differ. In fact, abilities should differ. Because in life we are interdependent. Now, capacities as in function and role and position may also differ. But success is for all of us. Not all will end their ministry in the Church of Pentecost as area heads. Only a few will end their lectureship as vice chancellors. How many of us will be chief executives of organizations? But no matter the position you occupy in the social ladder, all of us can succeed. Once you work with what God has committed to you, for me, that alone is success. So on our part, there should be no boasting. Boasting about human leadership. Don't you know that I'm this, I am that? It is the Lord who gave you. There should be no comparison. Most of the, the problems we have had among pastors has been caused by members. Now you see this pastor not talking with that pastor usually because of transfer. And when the members begin to sing Saul and David's kind of songs, they knock the pastor's heads together. Don't compare. You just work. Don't be knocking the pastor's heads together. They came with different abilities and they have done what they could. God does not compare me to anyone. God compares me to myself. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Am I confusing you? No. No, no one should feel superior. No one should also feel inferior. We are all of Christ and Christ is of God. <laughs> One of my sons, uh, when we, we, we went out, he was just a small boy, he went to school. And then, because we were in a different environment, they had to speak English. And then he came back home and said, Mama, teach us a minute to bro. My backer, your call, baby, na school on the cry, no. And the children in the chair, they would be a okay, bro, for Casa. And to me back, I'm afraid, but you know, and all by my mother, Mama, teach us a minute to bro. My teachers, I cannot speak English. I'm a teacher, so on to bro. I'm so teach you. Just say yes, we'll be a bench or someone's well born chain. So I told my child, if, if your teacher says you cannot speak English, you too can speak three more than your teacher. 
Now, when you go to the medical school, they don't teach you how to, how to make kinky. When you see the kinky seller, don't think that because you're a medical officer, she's nobody. After all, you eat. And who will cook for you? <laughs> Sir, abilities may differ, but success is for all of us. Sir, when you call, see your poem, the question, and I bet your daughter in here, I want to want to know where you're talking. And see, Sir, I will worry there, I bet your daughter in here, although this is here, and where you're talking. You know what's in on your pen? On your pen, yeah. All we need to do is to continue to do business with his talent that he has given us, the graces that he has given us until he comes. The other year, your pan in there, talent or damn my hand, no, two more damn what or damn my hand, you're funny, Jim, of course, there, or Baba. After we have done what he has asked us to do, Jesus says that we should acknowledge that we are unworthy servants. You're to me at the means of me now, the Jesus are kind of young, Jim, to there, your young qua, your wound in fashion. But brothers and sisters, though abilities may differ and our capacities may not be the same, the true value of our service to humanity lies with the Lord. Now the commendations the master gave the two sounds the same. I'm, I'm saying sounds the same because we were not there. This is what has been written for us to read. If we were there, looking at his facial expressions, you, you, sometimes somebody can say, oh, good guy, you have done well. And then we say, good guy. But if you look at the face, you actually know whether his heart is in the good or his heart is not in the good. We were not there, but the commendations sound the same. A boy's in a run in the ma and call with a piano, a shah, Nina, a year, but said, Oh, a pepper, sent it. I'm not one at you, and also your one can boom, your boom will run in him and brought it. The Nina only being now. But the real value of their service lies with their master. One some no boy or some bopa, Nina, or what will run. I want to humbly submit, brothers, that the true value of our work. It's with the Lord. I don't know what we're doing. I'm blessing. Pray that Mr. Dad, you know, small your sum no, no boss or no pan or we're at the home. And for that matter, the true reward is with Him. A yinti, yan akutia, or yan no korakutia, no so, or yan kupan abilities and capacities notwithstanding. Ah, you know what, then you two mono, no so on your pet. Men may not praise you enough, but let's remember. That the true value of the work we do is with the Lord. Ebiyan nimpo ntu mung kamfu ano umbo abozi nwo juma ayen ho naso yene juma ya ya no no bossum bupa ano owe rajo ho. I'm going to take a very important scripture from John chapter seven, thirty-seven and thirty-eight. This is my main and major text. John 7, 37, 38. On the last and the greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. As I'm upon them, 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 I'm upon now that was a true now. Oh yeah, a fashion the porno. Jesus, Jinae, Tin Tim there. Since you come to be a woman, umbra men channel one of new Jimmy's, you know, damn bread, you're some acano, and quench it in Bethlehem. A pimp, as the scripture has said, anyone who believes in me, out of his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. Now, the inward work of the Holy Spirit within us, in the believer, is pictured here as rivers of living water. Now, it must flow to be a blessing to humanity. Jesus did not say, 
He who believes in me will realize all the blessings of the fullness of God. No. Jesus and so be Jimiza. But what he has received from me will flow out through him. One day Jesus met this Samaritan woman. Then he actually told the woman that if he knew the gift of God and who is it who speaks to you, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. So when we come to him, he gives us living water. In fact, he is the living water. It is supposed to well up in us and overflow. It is he who gives the living water. That's it's that is supposed to well up within us. Now this water is quickened by the Holy Spirit through spiritual exercise. To flow from within us. God expects us to be channels of blessings of his grace, not a terminal. You see, when we believe in Jesus, it is not what we gain that really matters, as in possession, but what He pours out through you that really matters. Because Jesus is So real value of our ministerial life cannot be measured as the word does. No, the world will measure by how famous one has become. The titles they acquire. The bigness of one's church. The number of people who are in the church and ministers who this particular See, God does not measure our success by our possessions. Not only, not even by the glory tributes that people pour on us. You see, human beings, we see in part. Sometimes after preaching, somebody said that was a powerful message. Powerful message. Powerful. And so I begin to wonder when they say powerful, how are they defining it? Yes. <laughs> See, the measure of success of ministry, I want this man to be projected. If we can read, shall we read, those of us who can ready go. The measure of success in ministry and life is how much of God's life flows through a person. And that cannot be measured by any one of us. Let it... I want you to ponder over that. This is the reason why I've stood here. The measure of success in ministry and life, I'm adding life because of any other work that you do, is how much of God's life, that river that is in you, that flows through a person. And for that one, none of us can measure. In answer for the in a brabum or sooner need the baby ye ye was sooner. Any day about my own young couple no qua up in my family. Now the margin is so nippy and you are over to us. In Bethany, Jesus was reclining at the table in the home of Simon the leper. 
wo better ni no sermon eh oyo oyo kwete ni no no wa to jesus upon na a woman came in with an alabaster box eh akete se bi baya okura alabaster na a perfume which was at those they very 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 expensive oyo it was quite expensive she brought the jar and poured it on Jesus' and the people rebuked him harshly what a waste but Jesus said don't disturb this woman she has done what she could and Jesus catch on there you see they saw it as waste but Jesus saw it as what gain and the widow's mites seemed a little but Jesus saw it as much listen to this big one the one we call jesus eh? he does not judge by what he sees with his eyes but with righteousness he judges nations but when ten years Jesus is your genius, you know. On your own, who no one wants, no one wants to tell me, you know, to put a man at him. He reads motives. Or can can the one in our genius? He weighs thoughts. The one in our genius, so, oh, oh, she. Oh, she's so. Amen. Yeah, but it's okay. Oh, she was just singing in the the same thing. So can you imagine Judas? He goes to Jesus himself if a kiss. But that was not his intention. Judas is carried to walk with Jesus in the church. Even Jesus himself, he tried it on him. And he succeeded. Judas the year Jesus There was one man that was very difficult to handle, at least so far as David was concerned. What David did not hint him no. I bring to you what now. Oh, you did part of what you. Oh, you know you do. I know we Because he he was a dumfu kungfu kind of a person. <laughs> His name is Joab. The man bring to me can was our friend Joab. Two times he killed great commanders, Abner, and then he killed Amasa. And in all those occasions, he deceived them and killed them. Oku, a mass of co, a sardom tissue, Biena, Womra, Ozenda, Dakondo, or the Kunda Mukrofon. As for Abner, he heard that he had come to David and he's left. Abner actually came with good news to reconcile Israel, bringing all the supporters of Saul to David. So when he came, a uh, job. Came, David said, Abner was here. Said, Abner was here. So where is he? He's gone. Then he, he called Abner. Abner might have thought that because of the good news, now this man is not going to disturb him. He called him. And where they were, the city was Hebron. And in Hebron, you don't revenge. So he took him and went outside the gate. The Bible says, as if to discuss the way forward. Then he said, Oh, if I kill you in Hebron, it will be a problem. But if I kill you outside the gate of Hebron, that's all. Then he just killed him. Abner called David in Chen. I do not know the Kwan or Peda or Kam. We see a Kunu, a boom, or a Sumji Kwanam. Now, do I tell that Abner, what about David in Chen? And also, Abner Bahano David in you. And now, Ozi Nechu, and T. On you could call baby of Hebron, Hebron, one on Tori Roho, and now on you Queen Yukakra, no Yedo on your Cassano, and now a second was Shano, or the war Abner, no Okunwa, the membrane. See, River Tano 
Uh, I think that it begins from somewhere around Techiman. But it ends in the Atlantic Ocean. And But where the source is, it actually does not have any idea where it ends. The source has never been to where it ends. Yes. Out of our innermost being, what? Rivers will flow. Or they sitting up him. And when you are a pastor, or when the river is flowing, you may not have idea, any idea, how many people the river is blessing. It is only God that can measure that one. Now stop complaining. Just stay in your corner because God is watching. I want you to think of the healing. And the far reaching river developing on your inside and work at it so that it will be a blessing to people no matter where you find yourself. I went to visit uh, the ministers of the Church of Pentecost who work with the Home and Ever Missions and their seminar. And I wanted to encourage them because working, they are working predominantly among the poor. And sometimes you may be, you have to be parting with money. And some of the people you really need a good heart to handle them. Then, whilst I was still exhorting them, I asked them they should be careful of their fellow pastors. Some of them may be discouraging them. And then I saw that their eyes swung around, every, each one looking at someone's face. Because not knowing that the pastors have started already. And oh, What will follow you is your works. So I want to encourage you to work. There are some people who are so depressed because they, are, they have looked forward for, uh, to the position of apostleship and it is not coming, so they are depressed. Who hmm? There are God's purpose for you is to be fountain through which the life of Jesus can flow through in blessing to others. How many of you are getting something here? Yeah. Yeah. If you are married, tell yourself that that river of life that is in me should be able to be a blessing to my husband. You are not the one who will say that this man is not behaving well, so I'm leaving the marriage. I, I'm filing divorce. I'm doing that. No. There's something in you that can help that young man. There's something in you. Let it flow and be a blessing to the people. Jesus <laughs> Uh, 
I want to challenge you. Yenama, we don't go with the consciousness that there's so much life in us and that God will want to use us to bless other people. And if you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do that, you can't get a lot of people who are not going to be able to do that. You can't get a lot of people who let me illustrate this one with a, a, a point. Let me give you some illustration to open up what I've said, and then I'll bring the conclusion. There was this young British medical officer. A brand here, oh yeah, that's you know what. I went just here, a British man. So by over two years, you know, I can just you know, so I can be and. So in JC, if you are Mukromo, have a view. Did I not work? I broke it. Okay. Okay. We're crying because in JC had the other kind. Okay. Yeah. But this young man was, it was, was so brilliant when he was in school. A brand new school, no, no, you might see. So when he was about finishing school, his professor called him and said, I think that you have to start your own surgery, start your own uh, clinic, so to speak. Oh, them wanted to hospital and Then this young man said, I've decided to go to the hinterlands to help the poor. And I bring to the pedemukum crossing crossing and kobua in yafu. Then the professor looked at him. He said, that is not how to make it in the world. Then the young man looked at his face. He says, which world? This one or the one to come? Which world? So he had no in fact, so you're suffering here, though, conquering. No more being a bini, a moon, a moon, a sika. You don't call that was in so no more being a bia, banche, board, yeah. 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 Which world? I mean, we must work with eternity in mind. I like apostle for many reasons. He is a servant kind of a person. When we are in meetings, anything that has to do with service. You volunteer to do it. So you will Now, when we are tired and we are closing around 11 p.m. and we still have something to do, and we realize that the GS will need some help, if you, you ask who will help, you will lift this hand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now he so he serves on many committees and bonds. And sometimes I wonder whether he has problems with people because in meetings, you argue, argue, but if his argument is not taken, you don't see it in his reaction. I mean, you just normal, young fat, say young fat. <laughs> That's all. Hey, normal. And I mean, such a good spirit, very good team player. Very good team player. Well, you need to share with me, no? A small foot, Shranagin, pa. No, Shranagin. Very respectful. Nah, he is my friend. We used to have some nicknames. But ever since I became a chairman, 
he never used that nickname. No. I mean, this name, even our children, they call themselves with the nickname we call ourselves. And so you can imagine how long we have been calling ourselves that nickname. But he never did. He never. Even those days I used to, I mean, shout the nickname. And then he, what did he say? They wanted the American cramp. Let me conclude with our response. What then should be our attitude to the tax the master gives us? If the real reward and the true value is lies with him, then what should be our attitude towards his business? Number one, stay connected to Jesus, the source of the living water. So that the river of life will constantly flow through you in blessing to others. Number two, stay away from the politics of your work at your workplace. It will only leave you bitter. And delay your course. Now, move away from the politics in your workplace. Every institution, there is some politicking. Now, if you don't stay focused, you join the BIA and our Casacasa. Because you won't come again any other day, a human. Stay away to derail you from cause. Number three, don't compare yourself with others. It is not a wise thing to do. So to the Number four, stay focused on your tax. And stay faithful to it. Number five. Be content with who you are and where God has placed you. Mm. Yeah. So But how can you sleep? take my last point shall we all rise and read my last point we are going to read it from Colossians 3 Verse 23. Colossians 3 23. Shall we project it? I see that my eyes are a bit red. Eh? Ah, because I didn't sleep. <laughs> you see. Oh. So, shall we read? Ready, go. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. 24. Since you know that you receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. Now, 
There are certain people who even want to fuel our elders to revolt. That the elders in the Church of Pentecost, you are wasting your time. Look at how they are farewelling pastors and not that. You see, you are not working for the Church of Pentecost. You are a member who is serving God through the Church of Pentecost. It is the Lord Jesus you are serving. So work with all your heart. Work with all your heart. Now let me conclude. And do you have the last slide? How does it look like? Okay, this one. This is the summary of all that I've said. Ready, go. The true value of our service to humanity is with the Lord. The measure of our success in ministry and life is how much of God's life flows through a person. And that cannot be measured by any one of us.